Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA, and today I want to talk about getting your products sold at the Home Depot. Now, the reason I decided to create this particular segment is because I teach thousands of product companies across the country on the subject of selling to retailers, and one of the questions that comes up all the time is, how do I get my products into a retailer such as Home Depot? And so I really wanted to take a minute to give you some value and to support you in your quest of getting your products into stores. So let's talk about the Home Depot. Well, first of all, you know, the reason people are interested in that store is because, you know, they have over 2,000 stores that they're responsible for. So this is a retailer that has tremendous buying power. And you obviously want to get, you know, your product in front of that many people, especially if you have, you know, a hardware product or, you know, a garden product or, you know, whatever related to kind of home improvement type products, people want to sell to Home Depot. So let's talk about one thing that I can give you as a suggestion to support you in your quest of getting to that store. Now, what happens with a retailer such as Home Depot is that they typically have a corporate buying office where one buyer buys products for that particular retailer. So, um, you know, for instance, if you have, I don't know, like a home improvement uh, tool or something like that, you can find a buyer that would buy that product for all of the Home Depot stores. So there's usually one corporate buyer who buys for that particular for all of their stores. But Home Depot is a little bit different. They also have the ability to buy on a local level. Now, this is really interesting for some of you who are just getting started and are maybe having some challenges getting into the big stores. And also for those of you who are reaching out to these retailers and maybe you're having some challenges, working with uh, you know, Home Depot can really make a big difference for you. And if you're getting stuck somewhere, this strategy can really support you. So Home Depot has kind of evolved into allowing store managers to buy products on a local level. So what that means for you is that you could conceivably sell your product to just one Home Depot store and not all 2,000 of them. So again, why is that interesting to you? Well, if you have a product and you don't necessarily have the financial means to go after a major retailer such as the Home Depot right now because you're worried about the volume that they're gonna be handling and so forth, you know, if, if a retailer has a local buying program, that means that you could conceivably just sell to one particular store. And that means that although, you know, they, they buy a smaller quantity, which could be great for you depending on your product and where you're at in the process, especially for a small company. So, you know, that's awesome. But the other thing is, is that you can tell people, hey, I've sold into Home Depot, but I sell on a local, I, I, you know, but you personally know that you're selling this product on a local level. So essentially what it really means is that if you are trying to get into Home Depot and you can't get you know, in front of the, the corporate buying office to actually sell that product to them, consider reaching out to the store manager at your local uh, Home Depot and letting them know about your product. Just sincerely go, bring your product with you, drive your car to a Home Depot, talk to the local store manager and say, hey, do you have a local buying program for this particular uh, Home Depot? And a lot of times they'll say yes, and then, then you can work accordingly to try and get your product in that particular store. Again, it's just a really great way to get started with a new product and um, you know, to support yourself but while having you know, this big brand name of having people know that you sold in the Home Depot, but not maybe you know, selling to all of their stores. You could start out small. And the cool thing is, is if you do well with that Home Depot product you know, at that particular store, you could go and drive to other Home Depots, sell to those stores, and then ultimately build your brand that way, show proof of sales. And then I guarantee at that point, if it does well, you can actually sell to Home Depot corporate and really grow your brand. So this is supportive in so many ways, especially for a small company or just a company who's really just trying to grow their business. Anyways, there's so many other things to know about selling at Home Depot. So if you're interested in learning more, uh, please take a look at the, the link below. My website is retailmba.com. Essentially, we have a training program that supports people on how exactly to get into a retailer such as Home Depot. So if you want to learn more, please take a look at our training program because we're there to support you. Anyways, this is Karen Waxman with Retail MBA. Uh, please also take a look at additional training series that we're, we're continuing on about different retailers and some additional information to support you. Thank you so much.